As of today, the Climate Prediction Center is still forecasting that there could be a possibility of tropical cyclone development as early as next week. We do see that um, on week three, between the week of uh, between days of August 16th and August 22nd, we do see that the Climate Prediction Center has outlined an area where tropical cyclone development is possible right over the main development region. This is, of course, based on the latest and the uh, initializations of the computer models. So such as the European model, which has been persisting on the idea that there should be a powerful tropical wave moving in by next week. And under favorable conditions, it could definitely raise the possibility of tropical cyclone development. It still has yet to be seen how favorable the conditions will be, but we're going to take a look at several different factors in this video to really determine the true chance we could see tropical storm Emily by next week. So based on the latest forecast from the European model, we do see the European model is outlining this area right here between the hours, um, between the forecast hours um, from seven days to beyond that this area will be the most likely area where we could see a tropical storm passing through. And while the chance is rather low for right now, you have to be aware that in, for forecasts that are very far out in the future, the chance will always be low. So we could easily see the possibility rise over the next several days once a European model potentially gets more confidence regarding the possibility this next strong tropical wave could develop if the conditions end up being favorable enough. So the fact that the European model has outlined an area where we could see a tropical storm as early as next week, this is of course something we're going to closely monitor over the next several days and it's suddenly something to be aware of right over the Caribbean islands. So here's a quick look at the water vapor imagery over the main development region. We do see that there is a small tropical wave moving to the west. However, this area of moisture is expected to slow down due to a lack of steering currents just to the north of it. So we should see this area of moisture slow down and potentially fizzle out. But another tropical wave just to the east of it should come in and that's and that would be the tropical wave that has the highest possibility of developing into a tropical cyclone and moving i'm um, shifting our focus a little bit for a westward we do have another tropical wave but isn't expected to develop mainly due to the fact that the wind shear is expected to be a little bit too strong right over the caribbean islands but you still should expect an enhanced amount of rainfall over the caribbean islands where you could experience anywhere from two to four inches of rain especially in the higher elevations which could lead to the possibility of flash flooding in localized areas so you want to keep that in mind as we approach the late week because that's the most likely chance you guys would experience heavy rainfall now, take a look at the latest run of the European model. We haven't seen major changes compared to yesterday. However, we do have one key change um, that um, wasn't in yesterday's run. If we were to continue to move forward with the forecast, of course, expect heavier rainfall over the Caribbean islands by the late, um, as early as the late Tuesday into early Wednesday time frame, especially for Lesser Antilles and Leeward Islands. Like I said, expect anywhere from two to four inches of rain and then this should expect um this should extend into puerto rico as well as the dominican republic right around the late wednesday into early thursday time frame and this could go on for friday where friday could potentially be the worst day for hispaniola when it comes to rainfall so definitely keep tabs on um this area of moisture over the next several days now shifting our focus a little bit eastward where we could potentially see tropical storm emily develop we do see that this area of moisture I was just talking to you guys about in the water wave energy this area right here we'd see that it slows down quite dramatically and this is because the ridging becomes a lot weaker by the time we approach the Wednesday time frame we see a pretty big trough just off of Europe that's weakening this ridge right here that's weakening also weakening this ridge right here so this will slow down as a result and if you were to take a look at the soundings you're gonna see that the lower level winds are gonna be fairly weak and in fact go the opposite direction of what tip of the typical direction the wind moves right around the main development region during this time of the year which is towards um which is towards the east so that that so that definitely will slow down this area of moisture and that could be a bad thing because once this tropical wave comes off 
the West African coast, it'll converge with this convective area and create even more convection and even more lift for this um, tropical wave to have a higher possibility of developing. And we see this tropical wave would come off the African coast, I'll say right around the Thursday to Friday time frame. Um, so it's so it's um, coming off the West African coast relatively soon, but it's going to move very slowly because like I said, the steering currents will be very slow, but eventually the convective activity should move just off the West African coast right around the Sunday time frame. But we do see along with this tropical wave will be plenty of dry air, especially on the northern side where we're seeing a strong pressure gradient between this tropical wave as well as this ridge located just off the coast of Europe. And that's going to bring a lot of the Sahara and dust and the st um, stable air associated with the Saharan desert into the main development region which could be the saving grace that would prevent a tropical storm from developing over the main development region however despite this dry air the European model is forecasting the European model ex still expects a well-defined center of circulation to develop right on um, by next week right around August 16th and we do see quite a bit of moisture with it however in a snare but it isn't necessarily a tropical storm system just yet um wait um give me just one second guys let this load up <laughs> So we see that while we do see a well-defined um, low pressure system um, right over this convective activity, it isn't considered a tropical storm just yet. And the primary reason why is because the storm, as you could see, is very lopsided. The western half of this tropical disturbance is very dry, while the eastern half is where all the moisture is located. And tropical cyclones tend to have a difficult time strengthening on um, when the storm is very lopsided because that means that the uh, the exact area um it could um the exact area where there's plenty of convection and lift is very limited when all the lift is on one side rather than in all areas the uh, uh, tropical cyclone requires as much lift as possible and when it's restricted to only one side then that would limit the amount of convection lift as well as um increase the pressure and that would increase the pressure along the surface so we wouldn't see this storm strengthen when it comes to wind speed so we're gonna need to see this storm become a little bit more symmetrical as it continues ahead further westward before i can confidently say we would see a tropical storm develop but we do see the european model eventually does make it a little bit symmetrical and beyond this point it definitely um does become a lot more uncertain there's the furthest the european model goes with its forecast so we're not really sure what will happen beyond this point there um since we are seeing the trend that it is becoming more symmetrical as it's approaching the caribbean islands that might not be a good sign because we could continue to see the trend where the store the trouble disturbance becomes more symmetrical and that would lead to of course a much more um a much more um intensifying tropical disturbance as this approaches the caribbean where we could see a tropical storm however the um the potential good news is that there is quite a bit of dry air on um, to the west of this storm as well as to the north of this storm so it so if this dry air is somehow able to keep this storm from being a little bit more symmetrical and having moisture on the western side then of course that would definitely diminish the possibility of tropical cyclone development but it's still a little bit too far out to say for certain if we're going to see this storm become more symmetrical and strengthen even more um, beyond the 240 hour mark we're definitely going to need to um, pay close attention to how the European model shifts its forecast over the next several days and another thing and the key difference that I mentioned earlier in this video that's um, different um, with this run compared to yesterday's run is that we have another tropical wave the European model is taking just off the West African coast and it could be just as strong as this um, tropical wave which is a little bit further westward so this might not be the only tropical wave we're gonna need to keep an eye on going into next week we also have the possibility of this tropical wave potentially developing uh, of course if it's able to avoid the dry air it's still way too early to say for certain if this will develop it literally just came off the West African coast we're gonna need to see it 
over water a bit more, see how rapidly it organizes. And plus, it's very rare for a tropical wave coming off the West African coast to organize itself and get itself together so quickly. So we're so it, we're definitely gonna need to wait several days before we can get a more confident forecast. Not only when it comes to this low pressure system, but especially this low pressure system right here. So I'll keep you guys updated. But the key thing we're gonna need to pay close attention to is the amount of dry air that'll move over the main development region, which will be determined by how strong this tropical wave is. Because in fact, if it's weaker coming off the West African coast, that would mean that we'll see a weaker pressure gradient, which means that less dry air would move over the main development region, which would enhance the possibility it'll strengthen over the main development region. So we're definitely going to need to pay close attention to how much dry air there is and how symmetrical this storm becomes as it continues ahead further westward. Make sure to stay tuned for more updates. We also talked about the possibility that wind shear could potentially inhibit this storm system. However, based on the latest run of the European model, the European model is suggesting that it should be under a small um, upper level high um, that would prevent the strongest of, of the upper level winds from going um, from going towards the center of circulation, which would mean that it'll be in its own small little area where it could still intensify. And in fact, the stronger upper level winds just to the north and south of this tropical wood disturbance could in fact stre help strengthen this storm system because it'll allow, allow the storm to breathe a little bit more and allow more outflow for more air to rise. Um, from the surface to the upper levels so we're definitely of course going to need to pay close attention to how the upper level winds will build it seems like for the most part the european model is forecasting around a light to moderate amount of upper level winds thanks to the fact that it's under an upper level high but uh, of course the forecast could definitely change um, um between now and next week so we're definitely going to need to keep tabs on how um, this upper level low um, um, will move because if it moves a little bit further southward, then we'll see a little bit too much upper level winds for this to have a good possibility of developing. I'll keep you guys updated with the changes and same story goes for this um, low pressure system as well. But what you could take from this forecast is that it's very likely we're at least going to see some for, uh, tropical wave move into um, the main development region by next week. And I will say that there it could there is potentially a moderate to um, a moderate possibility of tropical cyclone development by next week if this forecast continues but it's still um it we're still in a wait and see mode i'll i wish i could give you guys uh, answers um right um today but it's just a little bit too far out but i but i update you guys when it comes to more long-term events just so you won't be caught off guard in the caribbean because of course the hurricane season could change quickly so throughout the caribbean islands just make sure to stay tuned for more updates once the forecast definitely becomes a lot more certain in terms of what the GFS model is forecasting when it comes to this next potential tropical cycle, we do see the GFS model does bring a high amount of moisture into the main development region, but the dry air just fizzles it out completely where we don't see much of anything develop even in the very long term future. So while the GFS model does agree like the Euro what the European model is saying that we should see a pretty a relatively powerful tropical wave move into the main development region. It expects the dry air to be a little bit too much. But like I said in my previous video, uh, the European model has been the slightly more reliable model on um, this hurricane season. So I'd lean a little bit more to what the European model is suggesting, but we can't rule out the GFS model either. Um, so we could say for certain a strong tropical wave will move um, into the main development region by next week, but it's still far from certain if we'll see it develop. Make sure to keep watching and I'll keep you guys updated. So this is what the European Ensemble members are forecasting at this time. And we do see quite a few of them do want to develop a well-defined low pressure system while very few of them develop it um, towards um, up to tropical storm status. We have to keep in mind this is just within the next 240 hours. And um, like I said um, earlier, with, um, with the trend that this storm is expected to become a little bit more symmetrical as it approaches the Caribbean, there is a higher possibility um, if this were to develop into tropical storm status, it would do it beyond the 240 
hour mark. So we're definitely going to need to at least pay close attention to this, when, um, especially since we are having a little bit more confidence that Walt Fine Low Pressure System will move into the main development region by next week. While the main GFS model um, wasn't forecasting a well-defined low pressure system to move into the main development region, did expect um, a lot of moisture, but not necessarily um, a low pressure system that would be well-defined enough to develop into tropical storm status. We do see that the ensemble members tell a different story where we do see some ensemble members wanting to develop uh, a small center circulation with this potential tropical wave um, by next week. So even though the GF, the main GFS model isn't um, forecasting a tr uh, um, potential of a tropical storm, the ensemble members are telling a different story. So the possibility certainly exists over the main development region. So here's my overall forecast when it comes to the potential of tropical storm Emily by next week. Um, it's definitely very um, way too far out to say, but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we do see a tropical cyclone develop from this tropical wave based on the trend I'm seeing. Because potentially beyond the 240 hour mark, if we're um, if we were to see the European model be the more correct model in this scenario, then the chance will um, then the chance would be, certainly be higher, but still far from certain so make sure to stay tuned for more updates um, throughout the caribbean um and potentially even beyond because of course with the hurricane season things could change very quickly but um that's it for now guys i thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more by the way content and i hope you guys all have a great day